Om Namo Bhagavate Vajrasaha Pamadane Tathagataya Ahati Samyak Sam Buddhaya Tayata Om Vajra Vajra Maha Vajra Tita Vajra Maha Vidya Vajra Maha Bodhi Chita Vajra Maha Bodhi Mendon Pasam Kamana Vajra Sava Kama Avarana Vishudana Vajra Soha Om Namo Bhagavate Vajrasaha Pamadane Tathagataya Ahati Samyak Sam Buddhaya Tayata Om Vajra Vajra Maha Vajra Maha Teja Vajra Maha Vidya Vajra Maha Bodhi Chita Vajra Maha Bodhi Mendon Pasam Kamana Vajra Sava Kama Avarana Vishudana Vajra Soha Om Namo Bhagavate Vajrasaha Pramadana Tathagataya Ahati Samyak Sam Buddhaya Tayata Om Vajra Vajra Maha Vajra Maha Teja Vajra Maha Vidya Vajra Maha Bodhi Chita Vajra Maha Bodhi Mendon Pasam Kramana Vajra Sava Kama Avarana Vishudana Vajra Soha So now then, by this next prayer, Extends the Power of Truth, by this, um, actually these offerings are received by the a Buddha's, by the Buddhas and a bliss is generated in their minds. By the power of truth of the three sublime ones, the blessing for all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, the great wealth also completed two collections, and the sphere of phenomena being pure and inconceivable, may these piles of clouds of offerings arise through transformation by the Bodhisattvas, Aya Samantabhada, Manjushri, and so forth, in a magical and exhaustive eagle in the sky, arise in the eyes that the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas of the Ten Directions be received. So then we continue on the next page, on page uh, 54, to actually do this. And um, we, um, we prostrate, uh, we offer, and by this uh, bliss is generated in the minds of the holy beings. So you can really think uh, when we have done this, now this holy uh, being has uh, received the offerings and the, guru, the holy guru's mind experiences great bliss. So this is actually quite important by generating the bliss of the holy beings. Actually, it should be that we also experience bliss, joyfulness. No? We are doing something joyful, something happy, something to make happy, so our mind gets also happy. No? So that's the idea. So, first, we make offerings to all the holy objects here in this place, in this compound. Every single atanka, statue, stupa, scripture, picture, tzatza, relic, and prayer wheel, by seeing them as inseparable from our own virtuous friend, who is one with all virtuous friends. So imagine, for some moments, that we are prostrating, offering all these light offerings you imagined before, which are here, actually, and those who you have imagined, and generate great bliss in the minds of the holy beings. Here in this compa, all these, make all these offerings to all these holy objects here. Continue. When we make all these offerings both real and visualized to every single holy object in this country, all the statues, stupas, scriptures, pictures, all the centers, altars, every single altar in people's home, the prayer wheels, tzatzas, any virtuous friend in this country, by seeing them as inseparable from our own virtuous friend. We present these offerings many times. In this way, we generate great bliss in all the holy minds. So we prostrate, offer, and generate great bliss. We make all these offerings, both real and visualized, to every single holy object in India, including the Buddhaya Stupa, where a thousand Buddhas descended. Also, we make offerings to all the holy beings <coughs> in India, including His Holiness the Dalai Lama and other virtuous friends that you have there or here. By seeing them as inseparable from one's own virtuous friend, we make the offerings many times. In this way, generate great bliss in the holy minds. So we prostrate of make the offerings of the lights and generate great bliss in the minds of the holy beings.
We make all these offerings, both real and visualized, to every single holy object in Tibet, including the Jogo Rinpoche in Lhasa, that was blessed by Guru Shakyamuni Buddha himself, by seeing them as inseparable from our own virtuous friends. We make these offerings many times in this way, generate great bliss in all the holy minds. So please imagine prostrating, offering and generating great bliss. We make all these offerings, both real and visualized, to every single holy object in Nepal, including Bodhana Stupa and Svayambhuna Stupa, and any virtuous friends in Nepal. By seeing them as inseparable from one's own virtuous friend, we make the offerings many times, and this way generate great bliss in all the holy minds. So imagine prostrating, or maybe actually doing a prostration with our hands folded. Then we offer all these lights and generate great bliss. We make all these offerings both real and visualized to every single holy object in the other Buddhist countries such as mainly China, Thailand, Taiwan, Burma, etc. by seeing all the holy objects as inseparable from one's own virtuous friend. We make the offerings many times and this way generate great bliss in all the holy minds. Prostrate, offer and generate great bliss. We now make all these offerings both real and visualized to every single holy object in the rest of the world by seeing all the holy objects as inseparable from one's own virtuous friend. We make the offerings many times in this way, generate great bliss in all the holy minds. So prostrate, offer and generate great bliss. We make all these offerings both real and visualized to all the ten directions, Buddhas, Dharma and Sangha, by seeing all of them as inseparable from one's own virtuous friend. We make these offerings many times in this way, generate great bliss in all the holy minds. Prostrate, offer and generate great bliss. We make all these offerings, both real and visualized, to all the ten directions, statues, stupas, and scriptures, by seeing them as inseparable from one's own virtuous friend. Make the offerings many times in this way, generate great bliss in all the holy minds. Prostrate, offer, and generate great bliss. We make all these offerings both real and visualized to Buddha Chanresik by seeing Chanresik as inseparable from his holy master Dalai Lama and one's, own, and one's own virtuous friend. Make the offerings many times in this way, generate great bliss in all the holy minds. We make all these offerings, both real and visualized, to the seven medicine Buddhas, which is the same as making offerings to all the Buddhas, by seeing them as inseparable from one's own virtuous friend. 
We make the offerings many times in this way, generate great bliss in all the holy minds. Prostrate, offer and generate great bliss. Then we make all these offerings, both real and visualized, to the Bodhisattva Siddhigaba by seeing him as inseparable from one's own virtue strength. Make the offerings many times, in this way generate great bliss in all the holy minds. Prostrate, offer and generate great bliss. Now we are coming to the actual light offering prayer on page 56. And you are welcome to join me in reciting this and we will recite it three times. These actually performed a mentally imagined light offerings, the manifestation of one's own innate awareness, the Dhammakaya. These clouds of offerings eagling the infinite sky I am offering to all the gurus and the three sublime ones and all to all the statues, stupas, and scriptures, all of which are manifestations of the guru. I've accumulated infinite merit by having generated bodhicitta, having made charity to the sentient beings, having made the actual light offerings to the guru's triple gem, and to all the holy objects of the ten directions. Due to this merit, whomever I promise to pray for, whose names I'm received to pray for, and were praised to me, principally servants, benefactors, and disciples, as well as all remaining sentient beings, living and dead, may the rays of the light of the five wisdoms completely purify all their generated vows in Samaya right now. May all the sufferings of the evil gone realms cease right now. May all three realms of samsara be emptied right now. May all impure minds and their obscurations be purified. May all impure appearances be purified. May the five holy bodies and wisdoms spontaneously arise. These actually performed a mentally imagined light offerings, the manifestations of one's own innate awareness, the Dhammakaya, these clouds of offerings equaling the infinite sky, I'm offering to all the gurus and the three are sublime ones, and to all the statues, stupas, and scriptures, all of which are manifestations of the guru. I've accumulated infinite merit by having generated bodhicitta, having made charity to the sentient beings, and having made the actual light offerings to the Guru's triple gem and to all the holy objects of the ten directions. Due to this merit, whom I have promised to pray for, whose name I have received to pray for, and who were praised to me, principally servants, benefactors, and disciples, as well as all remaining sentient beings, living and dead, may the rays of the light of the five wisdoms completely purify all their generated vows in Samaya right now. May all the sufferings of the evil gone realms cease right now. May the three realms of samsara be emptied right now. May all impure minds and their obscurations be purified. May all impure appearances be purified. May the five holy bodies and wisdom spontaneously arise. These actually performed a mentally imagined light offerings, the manifestation of one's own innate awareness, the Dhammakaya, these clouds of offerings eagling the infinite sky, I'm offering to all the gurus and the three are sublime ones, and to all the statues, stupas, and scriptures, all of which are manifestations of the guru. I've accumulated infinite merit by having generated bodhicitta, having made charity to sentient beings, and having made the actual light offerings to the guru, triple gem, and to all the holy objects of the ten directions. Due to this merit, whomever I promise to pray for, whose names I've received to pray for, who were praised to me, principally servants, benefactors, and disciples, as well as all remaining sentient beings, living and dead. May the rays of the light of the five wisdoms completely purify all their generated vows in Samaya right now. May all the sufferings of the evil gone realms cease right now. All the three realms of samsara be emptied right now. May all the impure minds and the obscurations be purified. May all impure appearances be purified. May the five holy bodies and wisdom spontaneously arise. So then we go to page 60s. We are also doing 
Atisha's Light Offering Prayer on page 16. May the light of the lamp be equal to the great 3,000 worlds and the environments. May the wick of the lamp be equal to the king of mountains, Mount Meru. May the butter be equal to the infinite ocean. May the billions of trillions of lamps in the breast of each and every Buddha. May the light illuminate the darkness of ignorance of all sentient beings, from the peak of samsara down to the most torturous hell, whereby they can see directly and clearly all the ten directions, Buddhas and Bodhisattvas and their pure lamps. Om Vacha Aloke Ahom Emaho. Offer these beautiful, exalted, clear and luminous nights to the thousand Buddhas of the fortunate eon, to all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas of the infinite pure lands and of the ten directions, to all the gurus, meditation deities, dakas, dakinis, dharma protectors, and the assembly of deities of all mandalas. Due to this, my, my father, mother, and all sentient beings in this life and in all their future lives, you to see directly the actual pure lands of the complete and perfect Buddhas. May the unity and the Dharma in simple oneness please bless me and may my prayers be actualized as soon as possible due to the power of the truth of the triple gem and the assembly of deities of the three roots. Tayata Om Penchakriya Ava Buddha Nisoha. Tayata Om Penchakriya Ava Buddha Nisoha. Tayata Om Penchakriya Ava Buddha Nisoha. Tayata Om Penchagriya 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 Ava Buddha Nisoha. The light it transforms into single brilliant five colored wisdom. On the lotus and moon disc, the syllables Om and D appear. From them, 108. Beautiful goddesses of light, Marnema, appear wearing beautiful garments and precious garlands. Every goddess holds lights in her hands, and from them emanate billions of trillions of infinite replicas of light offering goddesses. All of them make light offerings uninterruptedly to all the Buddhas in the Buddha fields throughout all of space and to the peaceful and wrathful deities. dedication. Thus, due to the merits of having made such a light offering, may all the benefactors, the deceased and migrating beings of the six realms benefit. May all the generated samaya and broken bones be restored. May all the superstitious obscurations be purified. May all the bad karma, negativities, obscurations be purified. May the three realms of samsara become empty immediately. Please grant control, power and realization. And then we go back to the uh, practice uh, we did before. We go to page uh, 57 and continue there with the dedication on page 57. Due to the merits of these virtuous actions, may I quickly attain the state of a Guru Buddha and lead all living beings without deception into that enlightened state. May the supreme jewel bodhicitta that has not arisen arise and grow, and may that which has arisen not diminish, but increase more and more. Due to these infinite merits, may whatever suffering sentient beings ripen on me right now. May whatever happiness and virtue I have accumulating, including all the realization of the path and the highest goal enlightenment, received by each hell being, preta, animal, human, asura, and so are right now. Having dedicated in this way, you have accumulated infinite merit, so rejoice. May the precious sublime thought of enlightenment, the source of all success and happiness for myself and all other sentient beings, be generated without even a second's delay. May that which has been generated increase more and more without generation. Due to all the merits of the three times collected by me, Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, and all other sentient beings, which are empty from their own side, may the eye, which is empty from its own side, achieve enlightenment, which is empty from its own side, and lead all sentient beings who are empty from their own side to that enlightenment by myself alone. 
Whatever white virtues I've thus created, I dedicate as causes enabling me to uphold the holy dharma of scriptures and insights and to fill without exception all the prayers and deeds of all the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas of the three times. By the force of this merit in all my lives may never be parted from Mahayana's four spheres and may reach the end of my journey along the path of renunciation, bodhicitta, the pure view and the two stages. Continue with the special dedication prayers. With Lama Tsongkhapa's our direct guru in all future lifetimes, may I, my family and all other sentient beings never be separated from the complete pure path praised by all victorious ones. Due to the merits of myself and others, may the victorious teachings of Lama Tsongkhapa, Luzang Trapa, flourish for a long time. May all the centers and projects of the, of the FPMT immediately receive all the conditions necessary to preserve and spread these teachings. May all obstacles be pacified and may the FPMT organization in general and the meditation centers in particular, all our activities to preserve and spread the Dharma, particularly Lama Tsongkhapa's teachings, cause these teachings to continue without degeneration and to spread in the minds of all sentient beings. May those who have sacrificed their lives to benefit others through this organization have long, healthy lives. May all their activities please the virtuous friend in all their lives. May they always be guided by the perfectly qualified Mayana virtuous friend. May all the wishes succeed immediately in accordance with the holy Dharma. So thank you. This is so far the light offering practice. And as, as it is very beneficial to do as many dedications as possible on this special day. We continue in this retreat prayer book on page 344. 344 is the king of prayers. 344 in this retreat prayer book. The King of Prayers, as I said, the extraordinary aspiration of the practice of Samantha Bada. I bow down to the youthful Ayaman Yushi, your lines among humans gone to freedom in the present, past, and future, in the worlds of the ten directions. To all of you with body, speech, and seriousness of mind, I bow down. With the energy of aspiration for the Bodhisattva way, with a sense of deep respect, and with as many bodies as atoms of the world, to all you Buddhas visualize this real, I bow down. On every atom are Buddhas, numberless as atoms. Each emits a host of bodhisattvas, and I'm confident this fear of all phenomena is entirely filled with Buddhas in this way. With infinite oceans of praise for you, and oceans of sound from the aspect of my voice, I sing the breathtaking aspirations of Buddhas and celebrate all of you gone to bliss. Beautiful flowers and regal garlands, sweet music, scent and oils and parasols, sparkling lights and sublime incense I offer to you, victorious ones. Fine dress and fragrant perfumes, sandwood powder heaped high as Mount Meru, all wondrous offerings and spectacular array offered to you, victorious ones, with transcendent offerings, peerless and vast, with profound admiration for all the Buddhas, the strength of conviction in the Bodhisattva way, I often bow down to all victorious ones. Every harmful action I have done, my body, speech, and mind, overwhelmed by attachment, anger, and confusion. All this I openly lay bare before you. I lift out my heart and joys in all the positive potential of the Buddhas and Bodhisattvas in the ten directions, of solitary lives as heroes still training, and those beyond and of all ordinary beings. You are the bright lights of the worlds in the ten directions, who have attained the Buddha's omniscience through the stages of awakening. All you who are my guides, please turn the supreme wheel of Dharma. With palms together, I earnestly request, you who may actualize Parinirvana, please stay with us for eons numberless as atoms of the world, for the happiness and well-being of all wonders in samsara. What else life and potential I may have created by paying homage, offering and knowledge in my faults, rejoicing, requesting the Buddha's day and teach. 
dedicate all this for full awakening. May you Buddhas now living in the world of the ten directions and all you gone to freedom in the past accept my offerings. May those not yet arisen quickly perfect their minds, awakening as fully enlightened ones. May all worlds in ten directions be entirely pure and vast. May they be filled with bodhisattvas surrounding Buddhas gathered beneath a Bodhi tree. May as many beings exist in the ten directions be always well and happy. May all samsaric beings live in accordance with Dharma and may their every Dharma wish be fulfilled. Remembering my past lives and all varieties of existence, may I practice the Bodhisattva way, and thus, in each cycle of death, migration and birth, may I always abandon the whole of this life. Then, following the footsteps of all the Buddhas and perfecting the practice of a Bodhisattva, may I always act without error or compromise, with ethical discipline, faultless and pure. To Dharma and the language of gods, in every language of spirits and nagas, of humans and of demons, in the voice of every form of being, may be gentle-minded, cultivating the six parameters, and never forget bodhicitta. May completely cleanse without omission every negativity and all the obscures this awakening mind. May I traverse all my lives in this world, free of karma, afflictions, interfering forces, just as the lotus blossom is undisturbed by the water's wave, just as the sun and moon move under through the sky. Yeah. Is the suffering in the low realms and in many directions and dimensions of the universe. May I guide all wanderers and samsara to pure bliss of awakening and be of worldly benefit to them as well. May I practice constantly for eons to come, perfecting the activities of awakening, acting in harmony with the various dispositions of beings, showing the ways of a bodhisattva. May I always have the friendship of those whose path is like mine, and with body, words, and also mind, may we practice together the same aspirations and activities. May I always meet a spiritual mentor, never displease the excellent friend, who deeply wishes to help me and expertly teaches the Bodhisattva way. May I always directly see the Buddhas, masters encircled by Bodhisattvas, and without pause or discouragement for eons to come, extensive offerings to them. May I behold within me the Buddha's genuine Dharma, illuminate everywhere the teachings that awaken, embody the realizations of a Bodhisattva, and practice ardently in all future eons. While circling through all states of existence, may I become an endless treasure of good qualities, skillful means, wisdom, samadhi, and liberating stabilizations, gathering limitless pristine wisdom and positive potential, on one atom, I shall see Buddha fields numberless as atoms, and conceive the Buddhas among Bodhisattvas in every field, practice the activities of awakening. Perceiving this in all directions, dive into an ocean of Buddha fields, each an ocean of the three times Buddhas in the space is of air. So I, too, will practice for an ocean of eons. Thus, I'm continually immersed in the speech of the Buddhas, Expression that reveals an ocean of qualities in one word, the completely pure eloquence of all the Buddhas, communication suited to the right tendency of beings. The strength of understanding I plunge into the infinite enlightened speech of the Dharma, of all Buddhas in the three times gone to freedom, who continue to turn the wheel of Dharma methods. I shall experience in one moment such vast activity of all future eons, and I will enter into audience of the three times in but the fraction of a second. Instant I shall see all those awakening beings, past, present, and future lines among humans, and with the powerful illusion like stabilization, I will constantly engage the conceivable activity. I shall manifest upon one single autumn the ray of pure lands, present, past, and future. Likewise, I shall enter the ray of pure Buddha fields in every direction without exception. I shall enter the very presence of all my guides, those lights of this world who are yet to appear, those seekly turning the wheel of complete awakening, those to real nirvana, final perfect peace. May I achieve the power of swift magical emanation, the power to lead to the great vehicle through every approach, the power of always beneficial activity, 
the power of love pervading all realms, of all surpassing positive potential, the power of supreme knowledge unobstructed by discrimination, and through the power of wisdom, skillful means, and samadhi, may achieve the perfect power of awakening, purifying the power of all contaminated actions, crushing the power of a disturbing emotions at their root, diffusing the power of interfering forces, I shall perfectly the power of the bodhisattva practice. May I purify an ocean of words, may I free an ocean of beings, may I clearly see an ocean of dharma, may I realize an ocean of pristine wisdom, may I purify an ocean of activities, may I fulfill an ocean of aspirations, may I make offerings to an ocean of buddhas, may I practice without discouragement for an ocean of eons. To awaken fully through this Bodhisattva way, I shall fulfill without exception all the diverse aspirations of the awakening practice of all Buddhas gone to freedom and the three times were everywhere. In order to practice exactly as the wise one, called Samantha Bada, all embracing good, the elder brother of the sons and daughters of the Buddhas, I completely dedicate all this goodness. Likewise, my dedicate, just as the skillful Samantha Bada, with pure body, speech, and mind, pure actions, and pure Buddha fields. I shall give rise to the aspirations of Manyushri for this Bodhisattva practice of all embracing good, to perfect these practices without discouragement or pause in all future eons. May my pure activities be endless, my good qualities boundless, and through abiding in immeasurable activity, may I actualize infinite emanations. This is the end of space. Likewise, limitless are living beings. Thus, limitless are calm and afflictions. May the respiration reach be limitless as well. One may offer to the Buddhas all wealth and adornments of infinite worlds in ten directions. And one may offer during eons numberless as atoms of the world, even the greatest happiness of God and humans. But whoever hears this extraordinary aspiration and longing for highest awakening gives rise to faith just once creates far more precious positive potential. Those who make this heartfelt aspiration for the Bodhisattva way will be free of all lower rebirths, free of harmful companions, and will quickly see Amitabha, infinite light. And even this very human life, they will be nourished by happiness and have all conducive circumstances. Without waiting long, they become like Samantabhara himself. Those who give voice to this extraordinary aspiration will quickly and completely purify the five boundless harmful actions created under the power of ignorance, blessed with supreme knowledge, excellent body, family, attributes, and appearance. They will be invincible to vast interfering forces and misleading teachers, and all the three worlds will make offerings. Going quickly to the noble body tree and sitting there to benefit sentient beings, subduing all inferior forces, they will fully awaken and turn the great wheel of Dharma. I have no doubt that completely awakening is the fully ripeness side, comprehended only by Buddha, of holding in mind by teaching, reading, or reciting this aspiration of the Bodhisattva practice. To train just like the hero Manyushri, who knows reality as it is, and just like Samantabhada as well, I completely dedicate all this goodness just as they did. With that dedication, which is praised as greatest, by all the Buddhas gone to freedom the three realms, I too dedicate all my roots of goodness for the attainment of the Bodhisattva practice. When the moment of my death arrives, by eliminating all obscurations and directly perceiving Amitabha, may I go immediately to Sukhavati, pure land of great joy. Having gone to Sukhavati, may I actualize the meaning of these aspirations fulfilling them all without exception for the benefit of beings for as long as this world endures. Born from an extremely beautiful superlative lotus in this joyful land, the Buddha's magnificent mandala may I receive a prediction of my awakening directly from the Buddha Amitabha. Receive the prediction there, may I create vast benefit for beings throughout the ten directions, with a billion emanations by the power of wisdom, so even the small virtue I have accumulated by offering this prayer on the Bodhisattva practice, may all the positive aspirations of beings be fulfilled in an instant. 
Swag being limitless positive potential by dedicating this prayer of Samantha Bada deeds. May all beings drowning in this torrent of suffering enter the presence of Amitabha, who is king of aspiration, this is the greatest of sublime, helping infinite wonders in samsara, who are accomplishment of the scriptures dazzling with Samantha Bada's practice. May suffering realms be utterly emptied of all. All. And I think now there will come some more dedications no? from Venerable Company or do the long life. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking if we have it at hand. The long life probably, probably here, no, but uh, Rinpoche is. Okay, yeah, I think we do Rinpoche's uh, swift return prayer first. Thank you very much. And then the dedications. Okay, then the prayer for the swift return of Lama Sopa Rinpoche by His Holiness the Fourth Dalai Lama, Tenzin Gyatso. Peerless teacher and assembly of the children of the victorious ones, Shravakas and Pratyeka Buddhas, victorious Lozang, father and sons, along with the lineage of masters, all the objects of refuge of infinite lands, please bestow the virtue and goodness of accomplishing this prayer here and now holding and spreading the Muni's precious and complete teachings so explanation and practice, you who are the Dharma of patience is never discouraged, incomparably venerable guru, to you I make request. While striving single-pointedly for the sake of the victorious one's teachings, get away through which all benefit and happiness emerge, and from other living beings you suddenly departed to peace. What a great loss. Nevertheless, through the undeceiving truth of the blessings of the ocean of the three jewels and the great waste of bodhicitta of the children of the victorious ones, may the swagle of recognition swiftly beam in glory of fortunate disciples. Then we have a long life prayer for His Holiness in this FPMT retreat prayer book on page 383, 383. Three hundred eighty-three. The two prayers. Three hundred eighty-three. Three eighty-three. On the left side is a wonderful picture or drawing of His Holiness. And then we have on the right side these two prayers. The wish-granting, wish-fulfilling jewel, source of every single benefit and happiness in the world, to the incomparably kind Tenzin Gyatso, I beseech, may all your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. Savior of a land of no teachings and transmigratory beings, who extensively clarifies the path that unifies emptiness and compassion, to the lotus holder Tenzin Gyatso, I beseech, your holy wishes be spontaneously fulfilled. Yeah, I think that's it, no? And then I hand over to you. Yeah, yeah then I'll change just. Everybody. So these wonderful lights oh. 
these wonderful lights we have over there and over there on the Medicine Buddha altar. Uh, we have thanks to one very gener uh, some very generous sponsors. Um, so it's tradition that we read out their names and their dedications. Yeah. So just bear with me for a few minutes, and especially the kind sponsors, uh, bear with me. Uh, probably mispronouncing your names. <laughs> uh, I give my best, but in our hearts, of course, um, yeah, it's it's all perfect. Thank you so much. So. Right. Uh, please dedicate the merits of uh, these light offerings and the merits of all the activities we had today, right? Um, yeah, we had a wonderful day today. We started with morning meditation, uh, setting our motivation. Uh, then we had the reading of the Golden Light Sutra, which Lama Zopa Rinpoche always recommends so much for world peace. Um, then we read the chanting the names of Manjushri for the swift return of Rinpoche. Uh, then we had a wonderful teaching by Glenn Svensson. Um, then we had a medicine Buddha puja and now we lit those lights and had extensive light offerings. So amazing, amazing, amazing. A whole day of amazing activities in this very special place. We are here right, you know, in His Holiness, the Dalai Lama's mandala, and so many amazing practitioners are in this area, right? So we can bundle all that up, yeah, all these merits of ourselves, all these people here, uh, past, present, future, and then please dedicate to Li Nyong Lim. Um, she offered three, three he or she offered three large butter lamps and the dedications are for Lim Li Nuang and Na Fangji Akiko, for Buki Jinka and Tan Pek Huang, for Lam Shong Tek, uh, who has died, and for Lo Po Ching. And then Rose Goli Meng, she, she offered one large butter lamp to eradicate negative karma and curses from Go Li Meng for all lifetimes. And then Grace Bay, she offered our eight large butter lamps for Mr. Tang Wang Bay, uh, who has fa her late father, for Miss Sikyong Mai Tainan, late mother, for Mr. Su Sim Bay, for So Yi from Thailand, a cooperative, uh, for Mr. Nelson Guan Hua Dui, for Mrs. Grace Sok Wee Bay, and for Mr. and Mrs. Lau Kian Long. And then Carrie Nong uh, offered two large butter lamps. I wish for all kind Mother Earth, I wish for all to be kind to Mother Earth and that wars in the Middle East to end. Uh, and Belinda Bu uh, offered three large butter lamps for the swift return of the reincarnation of Captain Lama Zopa Rinpoche, for Lake Wok Sheng Yung to be reborn in Abhitabha Pure Land and have his favorable conditions to attain Buddhahood, for Belinda Bu Li Hyang and family to have favorable conditions to receive Mahayana teachings and have favorable conditions to achieve Buddhahood to benefit all sentient beings. And then Jennifer Lo offered uh, one large butter lamp uh, for Jennifer Lo Ka M, for Ronald Chua Tiong Bin, for Jolin Chua Jin Rong, for Tu Rochas Christivi Fuat, for Sarah Fuat, and for Leia Fuat. How do I get that up? Right here. <laughs> oh, uh, here's the bar, and now it's gone. Here's the no, bar. No, oh, here's no. the bar. You can move it all the way back. Oh, here, perfect. Thank you. You go there, yeah. Then, thank you, my dear. Then, Audrey Ten very kindly helps us with all these butter lamp uh, offerings in Singapore. She offered 10 large butter lamps 
this dedication for Frida Yeo, Tilda Yeo, Li Hui Ying, Li Hui Sen, Cherry Li, Shung Hyang Yia, Patrick Pua, Thomas Yeo, Le Wu Kok, Audrey Tan. May all sentient beings' negative karma be purified and may we all be in places where there is peace and harmony and for all to be in good health. Then uh, well, Theo uh, offered one large butter lamp and Chi Cheng Lai offered two large butter lamps. Uh, wish my family be always healthy, happy and have prosperity for my Madam Tam Kyung Kang's family and Miss Lai Chi Cheng. And Jesse Jip offered six large butter lamps dedicating for O Kyung Ling, O Hui Ling, O Kar Ling, O Kai Ling, Le Man and family, for Yip Hun Yui and family. And Shia Vincent offered one large battle lamp and two small ones for Li Chun Eng, for Chia Yu Ning, and for Chia Yu Eng. And Siu Soi Eng offered one large butter lamp for Yap Siu Eng and family, and Cecilia offered four large butter lamps for the long life, good health, and fulfillment of holy of all holy wishes of most precious gurus, His Holiness the Dalai Lama, the Gandhian Tripala, Ling Rinpoche, and Ken Rinpoche Geshe Chuni for success in studies and practice for Tukden Ringse Rinpoche, Tenzin Punsok Rinpoche, Tenzin Kauden Rinpoche, and Toko Rinpoche of Gen Lobsang Tsering Rinpoche. For her late parents, Jinjo Su and Shong Yung Lai, Song Zi Yang and Henry Wang, and May full enlightenment be achieved without delay for Dharma and brothers and sisters everywhere, for good health, long life, and success in Dharma and studies and practice, and for all mother sentient beings, for suffering in every form to end without delay, for all to lead happy, meaningful lives in accordance with the Dharma. Then please dedicate for Aman Gupta. He offered five large butter lamps and dedicates for my parents, uh, Sridharam Pal Gupta and Chandarika, and for Cricket Heiler, uh, who offered a small butter lamp. This time last year, I took refuge thanks to my friends Vladimir that introduced me to the Buddha Dharma and Sangha. I dedicate this lamp to him, his continued spread of the Dharma, his health and happiness, and the health and happiness of his family. I dedicate the virtues of my life to him and to all sentient beings. May we all find the peace that comes from the wisdom and compassion of the Buddha. And for Gang Gangan Deep Singh, who offered a butter lamp for Wei Yi Tio, who offered a small butter lamp for all sentient beings, for Magdalena Travinska, who offered a small butter lamp and dedicates to all human beings that need support right now, also my father, Katarina and Luca. And for Silvio uh, de German, who offered a small butter lamp for Miruna, Adina and the dog Maya, May they never be far away from the Dharma. May they achieve Buddhahood for the benefit of all sentient beings. And for Venkata Shravan Punam, uh, who offered a butter lamp of an, and for Venerable Peldrin, who offered a butter lamp for the long and healthy, stable lives of His Holiness the Dalai Lama and of all our gurus, for the swift return of captured Lama Zuparimpeche, for the Dharma to spread and for the temporal and ultimate happiness of all sentient beings and for the peace and healing in the world. And for Anne Morel, uh, for Jifa Elbion, for Ivash, for Orvi, for Ganganjit, for Yvonne Herrock, for Paola Tabarelli, for Anna and Andrea. Uh, they all offered um, financial you know, support for all these butter lamps here. May all their 
good wishes be fulfilled straight away and for all their families and may everybody have long and healthy lives. And for Femme Sauter, for all sentient beings in all war zones, for all our lamas and teachers, as well as the Dalai Lama, may we all reach a state of full enlightenment and help each other to do the same. Luka Samatsukinyo Bhavantu. For Alex and Judy, for Milan Kovacic, for Richard Bean, and for Vijay Vani Edman, who offered two small butter lamps. Uh, with this dedication, we offer this butter lamp for the health and happiness of Ethan Karnik and family as well to all sentient beings on this earth and for Cameron Gilad who offered a small better lamb. Please clear all obstacles and bring success to Dakini's Whisper organization. And for Andrea, for all people that are sick of body, please be healed. And to all people that are sick of mind, connect to the Dharma. May all sentient beings attain enlightenment quickly. For Akshay, um, Akshay, who's here, eh? Yes? Yes, Akshay. Uh, for descalating the Israeli-Palestinian conflict for all beings in the Middle East and all beings who are in the wars, you know, of course, that the, more, the war may end very, very quickly and uh, everybody can come back to peace very quickly. For Winston, uh, who uh, dedicated for Andrea, for Victoria, who dedicates for peace in the Ukraine and in the world, for Severi, Valentina, Maria, Eili, Nodia, Boris, and Sini, and for Raisa, our amazing volunteer who's been sitting all day long behind the camera, making sure that everybody online is connected. And in between, she didn't drink or eat, but <laughs> made this amazing list here. Um, for Syrah and all others in my ex in my family, an extended family, Leo's family, Matt's sister, and for all other beings everywhere to be healthy with peaceful and happy minds and to meet the Dharma and perfectly qualified teachers and get enlightened as soon as possible. And for all the amazing Tushita volunteers, all the people who lead meditations here, uh, all the people who teach at Tushita, all the amazing service. May they have long and healthy lives. May all their virtuous wishes be fulfilled instantly. May all their families, all their relatives have long and healthy lives. Um, may I dedicate for my dad, Dieter Arnold, for Ruth Linke, Waltraud Hemmig, Heider Mutter, for our accountant's mother who is dying. Uh, may she have uh, a peaceful death, a, um, and then be reborn in one of the pure lands, or if that is not her karma, be reborn, uh, have a good rebirth, and meet a qualified Mayana teacher straight away, at, uh, attain all the stages of the path, and gain enlightenment for Ayala, have good health, and continue all her amazing Dharma activities. She was one of our amazing volunteers and is still helping us out. And for Venerable Tashi's mother, Harita, uh, who is, has cancer, may she be healed very, very quickly. Thank you so much <laughs> for your patience. And please, uh, now it's your turn uh, to read, or not to read out, to so say all your dedications. So if people have dedications, uh, just say them aloud and then we can dedicate for all these be beings, yeah? Nobody? Wow, amazing. <laughs> That's wonderful. That's wonderful that, you know, some people, nobody's sick, nobody has died. <laughs> Anybody who wants, wants just to say aloud? Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Shall we do the multiplying mantras? What do you think? 
as a last action today. So today was a very special day where all our merits were multiplied by 100 million. Oh my goodness. And now we can multiply them even more. On three, seven, four. Three, seven, four. So there are some very special mantras where we can multiply all our efforts from this amazing day and we can do very slowly. <laughs> to increase the merit created by a, a hundred thousand times at the end of the day, recite the homages and the mantra. Um, we can do in English. There is no need to uh, do everything in Tibetan. Then it's a little bit easier, no? To Bhagwan Tathagata Ahat, perfectly complete Buddha, Vairochana, King of Light, I prostrate. To Bodhisattva Mahasattva Samantabhadra, I prostrate. Tayata Om Panchagriva Ava Buddha Nisoha, Om Duru Duru Jaya Mukhe Soha. Tayata Om Panchagriva Ava Buddha Nisoha, Om Duru Duru Jaya Mukhe Soha. Tayata Om Penchagriva Ava Buddha Nisoha, Om Duru Duru Jaya Mukhe Soha. Tayata Om Penchagriva Ava Buddha Nisoha, Om Duru Duru Jaya Mukhe Soha. Tayata Om Penchagriva Ava Buddha Nisoha, Om Duru Duru Jaya Mukhe Soha. Tayata Om Penchagriva Ava Buddha Nisoha. Om Dur Dur Jaya Mukhe Soha. Tayata Om Penjagriva Ava Buddha Nisoha. Om Dur Dur Jaya Mukhe Soha. To Bhagwan Tathagata Ahat, perfectly complete Buddha, medicine guru, king of sapphire light, I prostrate. To Bhagwan Tathagata Ahat, perfectly completed Buddha, King fully accomplishing all dedications and prayers, I prostrate. Due to the blessings of the eminent victorious ones and bodhisattvas, the truths of infallible dependent arising, and the power of my pure special attitude taking responsibility, may all the aims of my pure prayers be accomplished. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you so much. Coming here, up the hill, or from down court, or back to have a good, safe journey home. Yeah, it's dark. I hope you all have your lights on your mobiles, probably. And um, see you soon. Uh, tomorrow's Sunday, so we have a little rest after all this merit making. Yeah, we can relax, rejoice. Yeah, remember to rejoice. How wonderful, how wonderful. They often say this is the easiest way to make merit. We just, you know, you can lie down or sit and have a cup of tea or coffee and eat cake and you just rejoice. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Yeah, um, because it's a great antidote to jealousy. Yeah, I always wonder why it's so meritorious, but often, you know, we, you know, sometimes we, Yes, sometimes it's difficult to rejoice, yeah, in our own virtues and the virtues of others. So it's a very nice practice. We can do anywhere, yeah. Um, and then on Monday, we start again with morning meditation at 9 o'clock. Um, and then on Tuesday, uh, we start again having another introductory course, yeah, Attraction, Introduction to Buddhism with Glenn Svensson. There's still a few uh, more spots left. And on the day after, on Wednesday, we start an intermediate course with a Venerable Jam Yang. And it's called Discover Your Own Discover Your Own True Nature. Amazing. Yes, Own True Nature. Uh, there's also a few spots still left for that. So uh, if you wanted more information about that, please have a look on our website, and there you can also register. Thank you so much, everybody. Have a good night. Bye-bye. <laughs> also online. <laughs> good night. <laughs>